Hello everybody, it's Sean, Mac Gaming. Welcome. So, um, so I've got my new phone, Motorola Moto G, um, a Google company. Let's have a look at the box. Um, first of all, I'm going to say, um, what's happened is um, my iPhone 5S was just too annoying to use. And I actually prefer the older iPhone to the 5S. So I thought I'd go for something different, Android. So I'll switch it up again. Now, I didn't want to get something with similar specs because I don't really use them because I've got a tablet that I use all the time. So I don't really use my phone. So, I want to look for something with good value. At first I was looking at the S3, S4, Note 3, etc. And they're all about £600. And similar specs to the 5S. But I want something a bit less specs but more value for money. And this is where this kicks in. It's a 4.5 inch HD screen. Um, gigabyte RAM which is equal to the 5S and a quad core processor so that's pretty perfect so how much does this cost is it about 600 no it's 150 that's it so lots of useless information there Moto G features a curved design that fits comfortably in your hand with colorful snap-on backs available to match your style it's built to last with a Corning gla uh, Gorilla Glass HD display water repellent coating and a long life battery plus Moto G delivers a long and fast Android experience to enjoy Chrome, Google Maps, YouTube and more ok and there's some logos there um, uh, stuff you don't want to see on that side of the case and this is it, this is the unboxing there was no, nothing holding it together when I got it, it was just came like this so let's move the actual phone to the side What's in the case? Where's my charger? This case feels light. So, <laughs> I'm going to moan about that in a moment. So here's the charge cable. Um, micro USB. That's not micro. That looks proprietary to me. It doesn't look like a um, micro USB. Um, let me just compare quickly. Nope. That's a propriety. Oh, man. I can't talk today because of my cold. I should have warned you guys at first. Instructions, how to take the back off. Let's get started. So yeah, it's just the basics. And safe, smart, protected. So yes, first little rant. There's no charger. Hopefully it's my only rant. So um, I should be able to use my iPhone and other, my Samsung charger too. The adapter should be fine. But the fact they didn't add it is a bit of a lame. I know it's meant to be a budget phone, technically, but you know. It should have included that at least. So I feel sorry for those out there who haven't got an adapter. Now the phone! Oh man, this feels pretty good actually. In fact, I'd go as far as to say this feels better than my 5S did because it just it feels good. So the buttons seem like they're in a bit of a weird place. The power feels like it should be up here somewhere or at the top. But I'm sure I'll get used to it. The volume rocket feels good. It's got some uh, meaty feel to it. Back case is decent, that's for sure. And the font feels good too. So overall, oh yeah, there's the camera. It's a pretty big lens, surprisingly, LED. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to boot and play around with it in another episode. Because this is just the unbox unboxing and first impressions. Sorry again guys about my cold. That uh, makes me sound quite dreadful. But overall, it feels really nice. It looks like it's got a nice uh, size screen. And it's cheap for the specs it's got. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to watch the next episode. Take care, guys. Bye.